Hello everyone. All right, so I was working on some uh, coffee dyeing, some uh, spraying and such, and I came across this fantastic idea. Now, I'm sure, like most of my stuff, this is not a new idea, but I'm very excited about it. So, bang for your buck. Now, we'll probably start this as a new series entitled bang for your buck right so we all want the most out of our craft supplies so how about this let's do over here first of all linda israel stencil okay this one in particular i believe there's one per month maybe more i don't know you'll have to ask her but um one side is one pattern, one side is another. So, well, what can I do with that? I don't want to spray just on one sheet two different patterns, right? So you can do book pages, hymnal pages, whatever, right? Two small pages, okay? So let's just give this a little spritzy spritz. Okay. And then a little spritzy spritz of some more. Okay, some of my sprays are running out, some are clogged, some are, you know, etc, etc, right? And I got some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist, and this one is, yep, Green Forest. Now. I've got a lot on this already, right? But let's add some more. Got to make sure to shake these up, get the mica powder going in there. Whoops. All right, now I'm just going to do a little bit of a border. So quickly on each, whoops, each side. All right, now I've already done this one. This is one that my... Uh, a coffee dyed sheet that my printer messed up. So, go right on top of that. And go and check out Linda's store for these stencils, because I love them. When she asked if I wanted to be on her design team, I was like, yes, please. All right. So, here's the mop up, which is great, right? super fun pattern as a background. Now, take this stencil up. Isn't that sweet? I believe that's retro. Maybe that one's not retro, but oh man, I can't remember. I need to need to write these down. Now, this is Arrows. It's like my favorite one of hers, right? So your text is going this way. But what about this? Flip it around, right? What does that look like? A forest full of trees? Maybe. So if we put some... Um, if we rip this up a little bit, right? And then put that there. Doesn't that look kind of like a uh, nice little forest? And it's got some shimmer. What about right here? Of course, it covers up some of it, but if you tear around it, then you got a nice little thing. Or what about like that? Put some paper on top, or maybe a uh, calico collage card, or several cards, because that's a little small for that. About a calico collage image like that. Kind of cut it right there. Or that right way up maybe cut it right about there and then you have a nice little thing so yeah that's my ingenious tip of the day bang for your buck because now you got move that out of the way and you got this one that of course you got to do something on the back side there right you got this one that i mean this one's so thin and fragile 
Uh, it's a pretty much shows up on the back anyway. Got like four different colors going on there. And then, whoops, sorry. Woo, hello. And then you've also got this one, which is your mop-up page that you can either use just as a background or you can fold it and use as a uh, just a page in your signature. Or you can just rip it and then put it on, you know, just collage it on something. So, yeah, that's my tip for the day. Um, oh, actually, hang on just a second. Hang on, I'll be back. Quickly. Gonna give this one a really quick spritzeroo. This is a page out of a smash book and using Linda's uh, ornament stencil. And this one is going to have a bit of a purple because it's going in a blue Christmas journal. And. <laughs> you know you're getting really good coverage of these mop-up when you can see the outline because that's where your moisture is and that is where your pattern's going to show up and I love having like the leftover you know, uh, some of the red and you know, stuff like that. That'll make a really neat page because it just kind of fades out. I didn't even try, man. Look at that. And then this one, of course, has that. So that's fun. But what I actually wanted to show you real quick, hopefully real quick, is let's say you've got this page, right? Well, that's not a good example. Let's say you've got this page. I learned this trick from, hmm, Dina Wakely, Diane Reevely, I don't know, something like that. Here's a stamp I got, I don't know who, probably uh, Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz, I believe. And then here's a diamond bar, which is my absolute favorite stamp ever from Beeline Designs. You can find it in Linda Israel shop again. Use my links down below. All right, just ink it up. And we're just gonna do this. Can't remember who I learned this from, but thank you to the person that I learned this from. Maybe it was also Lindsay, the frugal crafter. Because again, you know, bang for your buck, right? Ah, my stencil shifted on me. Do da, do da. Okay. Not even using a block because I'm just like, nah. Why would I do that? And just because, upside down. And and I'm kind of just doing this everywhere, just because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to be tearing or cutting or anything like that. Okay. And sorry, my I, I've got so much stuff all over my desk that uh, this is at an angle, so it keeps shifting on me. Yeah, every time Linda uses 
a stamp in her live streams. I'm always like, diamond bar, diamond bar, diamond bar. I just love it. I love this stamp. And we'll get one up here. All right. <clears throat> hey, Linda, are you ready to freak? Ta-da! I'm not cleaning my stencil because I don't do that. But look at that, right? Just so much fun. Just made some pattern paper. Look at that. And the back side. And this side. And see, this is even the part that my printer messed up on. You tear it off. You could uh, do some more stamping. You could always just distress the edge. You could put something over it. Um, really? You know, whatever you want to do. But, yeah. So that's that's my bang for your buck tip of the day using Linda Israel's products. As always, links down in the description below. If they do not appear, or if something's missing, or whatever, let me know. Usually after I do these videos, I go to sleep while they upload, because I work night shift at the present moment. And, um, so yeah. If uh, something's wrong... If I don't have a link for something down below, let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thank you guys so much for watching. I pressed a little too hard on that one. That's why there's that little dot there. Um, but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.